So recently I've been starting to give my friends names for all of their different personality traits. For example, when one of my friends is acting lazy, I call it Uncle Luke. At first this was really fun, but now it has just led people to greatly enjoying their weird flaws. Should I point out that this isn't good, or should I just embrace my friends for who they are? That is from Mac. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Um, The thing is, Mac, you can't point out that it's bad because you've it's it's like somebody is addicted to candy and you thought it'd be funny to name a candy after them and they're just like oh snap this candy's pretty great i think i'll enjoy eating this candy very yeah. often yeah i mean i mean zane let's let's create some names for the different personality traits in in yours zane is kind of a one-dimensional name so it's actually kind of hard um for me i can imagine will William, Bill, Bill is Willis, a big one. Liam. Bill, wait, do you prefer to go by Bill or Will? Will, I nobody calls me nobody calls me Bill. So Bill, what do you think would be a good one for you? Yeah, I have decided that when I turn fifty years old, I will start going by Bill. Though that's the truth. I will definitely um, anyways, not call you Bill. <laughs> well, you won't know me when I'm fifty, I guess. Anyways, I <laughs> well, I already committed to Puku by then, didn't I? <laughs> no, it's just the heist. Yes, of course, <laughs> my masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> my mag- it's my legacy mag- yeah <laughs> getting an audience of 500 of your closest loved ones and committing sepaku on stage when they're expecting an uptown un- like can an i sort interrupt of our question more than we already have and really quickly ask why you keep calling it well. sepaku what do you call it it is sepuku or seppuku i think oh is there is there two u's in there it is, i thought it was two e's in there it is not i'm sepuku. sorry I thought it was Sepeku. Uh, I just want to dip- I want to differentiate myself <laughs> from Sudoku as much as possible. Sudoku. Sepeku. Sudoku. <laughs> so the gist is if someone's lazy, they're called Uncle Luke. That doesn't actually have no, to be that's their not name, for, right? That's not for everybody. That's just them. So oh, so, okay. so is that here's, actually So is... so here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Listen, listen okay. up. So Will is just regular Will. Will is Will at his best. Will is knowledgeable and wise and fun to be around okay bill is the very serious part of will bill is the portion of will that just never stops you know staring people down when they say something that he deems is not okay Mm -hmm. he's not very jokey Mm. he will often you know overcomplicate his sentences i get you now liam is the guy who will sneak behind your back and do things you don't want him to do and then won't tell you about it later okay that sort of thing okay it all makes sense i totally get you now i did not get you before Urban Dictionary says that Zane is the name of a guy who is extremely handsome, kind, sensitive, funny, charming, and intelligent. His way with words show his sexy intelligence. When he cares for Ooh. a girl, he is all theirs with uh, with an apostrophe and makes sure that they know it. He is very tactile, loving to hold hands and keeping his girl very close to him. He's very loving and is always showing how much he cares. I think they already said that. Girl number one, that guy's really hot. Girl number two, yeah, I know. That's Zane. He is my boyfriend. He is really loving, funny, and smart. Girl number one, yeah, I may try and steal him from you. Girl number two, you won't be able to. He is all mine, and I am all his. These are cool people. <laughs> Zane. Uh, can I just, can I just right. say, what? these are cool people. Um, uh... <laughs> all right, so that's Zane. Zany is when I'm overheating after like five minutes, and, and then I want to commit to I think Zany is the... Is... <laughs> I think that's I think that's uh, I think that's Shaw Dog. Shaw Dog, Shaw Dog is the overheating one who wants to sepak you. Right. Mister Shaw is the version of Zane uh, when he gets very sad because he hasn't been able to be creative in a while. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what about Zane Araya? This is a real this, name that I used to fake tell people in fifth grade was the full name that was mine zane Araya is the guy who you're not really sure is telling you the truth because it doesn't sound like it's real but he says it so convincingly that you don't really know this is a fun fact and uh i'm all, and zane Araya is also a hustler in fifth grade yeah i yeah, said yeah, I um i could bring he's a heist man he's gonna commit to at I, your musical <laughs> i made i made a deal i made a deal in fifth grade and i said Sapuku, 20, sorry i keep on saying Sapeku. 25 cents tomorrow 25 cents tomorrow and I guarantee you, I can get you to um, believe um, my full name that I tell you. And uh, I walked in the next day, and I told them that my full name was Zane Araya, and everybody backed me, and I made money off of it. <laughs> and from that day forward, my full name, 
even though this is not true at all. My full name is Zainariah Evalandrius Shaw. You're joking. Evalandrius? Where'd you make that one name? I'm George R. R. Martin, and I that's how I make my characters' names in anything that I write. Okay, sounds good. Hey, so, okay, so the question goes on to say, um, mm-hmm. at first it was really fun, but now it has led to people greatly enjoying their weird flaws. Should I point out that this isn't good, or should I just embrace my friends for who they are? So there's clearly a deeper meaning that these people are trying to, that this question asker Mac is trying to get at here, but the fact that, you know, you tell, you tell somebody, hey, when you're really lazy, that's the Uncle Luke part of you. And then as you keep on hanging out with them, there'll be a moment when, you know, they'll just be like lounging around and the normal part of them will say, oh, I need to stop. I need to be like present. I need to be available for these people. I need to be Lucas. No, (laughs) no, this is just Uncle Luke. And then you just kind of sink into it and you're like, yeah, it's just Uncle Luke. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes okay for you. Mm-hmm, is that mm-hmm. okay, or Absolutely. have you just created a destructive no. uh, alter ego? No way, Jose. No, it's okay. It's, it's absolutely absolute, fine. It's absolutely okay. Be, be. It's your thing, girl. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who to sock it to. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, think about it right now. Think about how hypocritical you're being right now. I'm sorry. Your your username when you send question uh, questions to us is Mac Daddy, right? That's a that's a personality. That's the one. That asks questions. That's the one. <laughs> Is it hypocritical of you to say it's fine for you to be that person, but your other friends can't be their other people? And mm. two on. And now, as uh, Tobey Maguire would say in Spider-Man Three, dig on this. <laughs> Zane's dancing. Um. So. All right, so basically what we're saying is you're constantly in this in this evolution of these different types of yourself that you're switching to and from based on whatever you're doing, and that's all these people are doing now. That's what you're kind of saying. Yeah, it's really it's not multiple personality disorder. It really is just um, dance with yourself, as exactly as you said, and I was paying attention. And <laughs> okay, very good. It is, it is 100% okay. And if you give yourself a nickname like Zanus... Make sure you back it up with a new personality. Because <laughs> if you don't create a specific thing to tie it to, they'll just call you it all the time. Yeah, you gotta have a reason to be called that. Otherwise, it's just weird. Yeah, you could say like Zanus. Zanus is the version of you uh, when he skydives, and people don't really join you for skydiving, so then they never have a reason to call you Zanus. Mm-hmm. I like that. Every time people come up with a name, I say you can only call me that. You know, my favorite for you what? is uh, Doctor Lumbo. Do you remember Dr. Dr. Lumbo? I do remember Dr. Lumbo. Now, what would Dr. Lumbo be in your mind? What version of me is Dr. Lumbo? For everybody that doesn't know, I'm going to fill you in really quick on a long short. I had this idea uh, to make fun of the those black and white commercials where they can't even crack an egg correctly. Like, all of those has this ever happened to you commercials, infomercials that really suck. Um, and it was selling the product common sense to people so that they could just get it through their heads that it's oh, you mean that like the, easy. yeah, I remember now. It was like the white people who keep on having all these problems and need to get fixed by like it, by like daytime television. It was like, like can't crack pans, an egg yeah. in the pan, can't untangle untangle the headphones in your pockets, uh, all those things and whatnot. Yeah, Will had a persona for that sketch called Doctor Lumbo, where you vary with a bright smile on your face. You just, you let them have it. <laughs> yeah, I wish that video was still around. Good times. Dr. Lumbo was a good guy, it seems. You know that you're thankful that it's gone, though. <laughs> I think that I'm thankful that it's gone, correct, yes, um, for a couple different reasons. It's problematic for my life currently, but um, the, the, the thing is, is that Dr. Lumbo, I think, is a part of me that exists today because Dr. Lumbo is the dude who's just going to rip you apart and tell you like it is and throw aside all emotion to let you know that you need to do better in your life. Hey, there we go. We did it. We tied it in. Exactly. Fantastic. Well 